Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, excuse the hair, I am in desperate need of a haircut and terrified to go to a salon. I have split ends, I have frizzies, it's a disaster and grays like crazy. So anyway, today we're going to be doing um, my TJ Maxx haul. I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and they had some, some new stuff come in. A lot of things I wouldn't use and for some reason very heavy in the mascara department but I got some good finds I think and uh, I'd like to show you what I got so the first thing is an Isaac Mizrahi brush that I wanted uh, not Isaac Mizrahi necessarily I wanted uh, another loose blush brush I thought this was very nice very very fancy with this little gold thing and believe it or not $3.99 so you can't beat that with a stick and I thought that was a, a good deal this is a deluxe powder brush so that was $3.99 Thought that was a great deal then I got an Anastasia liquid glow highlighter uh, this was $4.99 and I got it in the color patina so I've never bought any of these Anastasia highlight uh, liquid highlights liquid glow highlights. I, I've only ever bought their loose uh, highlighter. So I opened it just to see what it looked like. And it comes in a tube. So that's a little scary for me, but I am going to try that. I'm always intimidated by uh, liquid and creams, but I'm looking forward to trying this when I get a little bit more color. Because I think it's a little dark for me right now. So that was, uh, again, $4.99 Anastasia liquid glow highlighter I thought that was a nice um, a nice little find then we have what do I have here this is the Maybelline tattoo studio liquid ink liner so I'm not the greatest at liquid eyeliner but I like to buy it all the time to see if maybe I find that unicorn of uh, eyeliners for myself so that I can figure out uh, what tool tip works best for me um, in stabilizing. I don't have the steadiest hand, so I'm always looking for something that might be the magic thing. So this was $3.99. So that, I thought that was a pretty good deal because you see these uh, eyeliners in the pharmacies and you will never see them for this price, never. So I'm gonna try this by itself, uh, not with makeup or anything, because I like to practice without makeup because when you make a mistake, you ruin the whole look. So I'll, I'll see how that goes and I'll let you guys know another time. So that was a nice little find. The next item I was actually surprised to see. And uh, I bought it despite the fact that I don't really like to use bronzer. I have on bronzer today. I, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but I do have some on today. It's the Physician's Formula, formula Muramuro Butter um, Bronzer. I don't really wear bronzer. I think we've talked about that or I have talked about it in other videos I may not have put up, but I picked this up. This is a Morphe product, which frankly, I was very surprised to see it at TJ Maxx because there's Morphe stores and, and, um, why is Morphe and they sell Morphe at Ulta. So why are Morphe products at TJ Maxx? I, I don't know. Did they have that many, um, excessive products that there was like an overflow? I don't know. Anyway, this product was $6.99. Surprised to see Morphe. Not the only Morphe product that I saw yesterday at TJ Maxx. There was also a palette, which was boring. Uh, so I did not pick that up. But I, again, was very surprised to see Morphe. But I picked it up because it says it's a bronzer. So it's a bronzer and contour. Um... So I was a little confused when I saw this and I had to get it because I want to try it out. Not today, but I will definitely be making a video involving this product because my understanding, and please correct me um, below if I'm wrong, is that bronzers warm the face and contours are more cool toned and grayish because they mimic shadow. So how can you have one color that does both? Somebody school me. Somebody let me know. Um, all you bronze goddesses that know about bronzing and contouring. Let me know because I just thought it was odd to have both in one in one thing. I'm actually going to open this because I'm curious to see 
what the color is. I got it in the color Fantabulous because I think that's the only thing that was there. Also, I never open anything when I am at TJ Maxx, despite the fact that it looks like a war zone in there and everything is open. Um, or not everything, but a lot of things are open because people are gross and they put their fingers in everything. People do better. TJ Maxx does not have samples. Please stop ripping boxes open. It's so rude and it's disgusting. So this is what it looks like inside. So uh, I don't know what is one is a bronze or one is a contour. I don't know because that looks like a blush to me. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Um, I don't know if you can really see the colors there. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And I will try this. And I dropped the box. <laughs> I will try this another time. Uh, I'm going to do a little research on it just to see that I use it properly. Because I don't really use um, bronzer often. And I never use contour. I could probably benefit from contouring a little bit. Because my face is fuller than it used to be. Um, I don't have as much collagen in my face as I used to have. But... I also don't like to wear makeup to look like um, an Instagrammer. It's not natural for me. It doesn't feel right. I feel overdone. Um, so the last item that I got, I was actually surprised to see this because you do see Too Faced products at TJ Maxx. I think I picked up a Too Faced uh, peach finishing powder, blurring finishing powder, something like that. I picked that up last time I went to TJ Maxx. But I found this Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. So I have to say that I was happy to see this when I went. I, I was almost out the door. And I was like, you know what, let me, let me walk past the makeup aisle one more time just to see if I missed anything. And I did uh, because they had like five of these left and somebody had hung two palettes in front of them. Uh, so I happened to see this and I was like, let me grab that because I did want to buy this despite the fact that I really don't buy a lot of Too Faced products because I find most of their uh palettes kind of boring their palettes are beautiful though I, I have to show you so I'm sure you guys have seen this a thousand times but I, I still want to show you because I love it so much I think it's so pretty it is really a nice high-end quality palette and it has this little corner thingy that you lift up and then you can see the palette not the most exciting colors I know but I did want to try this shimmer here. I don't have any, I don't think I have any palettes with this shimmer. Everything else, I'm sure I have dupes for. So I bought with the palette for one. Um, also, cute little mirror, adorable. And it smells really good. It does smell really good. So this palette, I think, I, I would have to look again, but I think this palette was $34. Um, I've seen it at Ulta. This is part of their uh, fruit line or whatever whatever they call it. Because I know that they have like a berry inspired one. Um, this is super cute. When I did first see this product on Too Faced, it is the one that I wanted. And yesterday I got it for $14.99. I um frankly a little surprised to see it. Because don't they still sell this at Ulta? I mean, I haven't been there with this whole thing going on in some time so i don't know how this whole tj maxx makeup works but i'm glad to have found it i'm glad i got it um also uh tj maxx had a lot of mac lipsticks colors that i really don't care for and um in one of my other videos i talked about lipstick and how lipstick doesn't have to be over you just have to wear the right lipstick so that you can wear a mask and it's not all over the place um I don't know how those MAC lipsticks would perform as far as rubbing. I haven't been really wearing any of my regular, like, bullet lipsticks. I haven't worn any of them because most of them transfer. But my liquid lips, I have uh, been wearing with my mask and been doing very well. Most of my liquid lips, anyway. Today I'm wearing a ColourPop uh, Blur lipstick. So, no, I can't wear this with a mask. I just love, love them. So, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully... You guys will see me do a video on this Morphe product again uh, because I don't know what a Brontor is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I never, I never saw the combination like that. And again, surprised to see Morphe uh, at TJ Maxx. I hope they're not getting canceled. See you guys soon. Thank you.